Hey, what's up guys? My name is Richard from Things Tech, where we talk all things tech, and today I wanted to share with you guys my top five picks for Android home launches. Stick around. Now I know that there are hundreds of home launchers available on the Android Play Store that provide you with a very stock Android experience and have a lot of features and customizability. And if that's what you're looking for then that's perfectly fine. I definitely recommend you go check out Apex Launcher, Nova Launcher and Go Launcher. Those are very common and very popular on the Play Store so yeah. But these that I'm going to be telling you guys about in this video are a little bit more unique. They provide you with a very different user experience that you probably won't get just by downloading any home launcher. And for those of you guys that know about these home launchers, I know you guys are gonna be like, hey, I know that one, that one's really kick-ass, you guys should try it out. So let's get on with the list, shall we? Now first on the list, guys, I'd like to talk about Buzz Launcher. Buzz Launcher is very different from most other launchers out there, and the second you open it up, you'll see why. Because instead of being just presented with a home screen, you're presented with themes and you have hundreds of themes to choose from. Each theme has its own focus and style and accompanying widgets which you can customize further by installing the Buzz widget app. Buzz Launcher offers a ton of customizability and settings that allow you to make the user interface you want. And if you like a theme but you want to make creative changes, then you can do that as well. The only downside, however, is that the amount of changes that you can make and the customizability has its very wide depth to it. So if you're the type of person that just likes to set and forget, then Buzz can be very complicated. Nonetheless, it's a very good home launcher and I suggest you guys try it out. It's available in the Google Play Store right now. The first home launcher on this list is ASAP Launcher. Now as the name would imply, this is a launcher that helps you get things done quickly. As everything that you would ever need can be found on the five front pages that are there. The main home page has a clock widget with the weather and below that is an app bar that allows you the five most commonly used apps where you can organize them at your will. You have a calendar page for functions and events, a to-do list page where you can manage your daily tasks, a contact page in list view that allows you to organize the presentation of your contacts that also has a dial button at the top that allows you to dial free room. And lastly, you have a weather page which displays your current weather, the temperature, and a five day forecast. Swiping from the left gives you a vertical list of all the apps that you have installed on your phone as well as a search bar where you can search for what specific app you're looking for if you have a lot of apps that is. The biggest downside of this home launcher is its lack of customization. You're unable to add widgets, you can't change icon packs and the only thing that you can really change is the wallpaper. There are some customizabilities there as well but most of it as you can see is locked behind a paywall in which you'll have to upgrade Apos Launcher to Apos Launcher Pro. But people need to make money these days, so something like this should not be, you know, too far unexpected. Regardless of that, there's still some things you can do. You can change the color scheme of the highlights, you can change the organization of the home tiles, and you can change the animations as well, I at least I think. So yeah, if simplicity is something that you're looking for and you want everything on your home page without having to hunt for specific functions, then this is definitely a home launcher for you to try out. Next up guys, we have Flow Home, which is currently in beta. Now if you're one of those people that just get tired of having all of your apps as icons on your main page that are listed in rows and you have to be swiping endless amount of screens to get to it, Flow is perfect for you. What Flow does, it basically integrates all of your social media and also your notifications and puts everything on the front page of the phone. With a very metro looking user interface, it puts all of your notifications and easy to read tiles that are on the main page, so you're no more needing to open your notifications page or opening separate apps. Everything's just right there, you can swipe through it and close them out when you're finished. Now instead of having a little bar at the bottom of your screen, all of your most frequently used apps can be found by holding on this cube right here. And if you need your app drawer to find a specific app, you can just swipe right and everything is right there. Now unlike most home launchers that just give you a customizable user interface, Flow Home feels 
personal and that's the reason why I love this launcher so much and why I see it as number 4. You guys should definitely try it out if you're into social media but it is in private beta so if you guys want to get an invite just check the description below. Now the next home launcher I'm about to mention, Home UX, is one of my most upcoming favorite home launchers. Unlike most home launchers that just have a slew of icons all over the screen and you have to organize them in folders, this one takes it up a step further by allowing you to create pages dedicated to specific apps. So if you wanted to create and customize a page for gaming, or emails, or work purposes, or even fitness, then you can easily do that here. Each custom page has its own level of customizability, which will allow you to make it feel more personal. You can change wallpapers, you can change color schemes, you can change icons, you can basically make it seem more tailored to your tastes. Therefore, giving every single page that you make not only its own purpose, but its own unique identity. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a unique home launcher that has a lot of customizability, then I definitely recommend you guys give Home UX a try. Most of you guys who know me know that I always love using Yahoo AV. This is actually my favorite home launcher. It allows me to auto organize all my apps by categories so I know when to find them. Aviate also has specific pages that can predict what you're doing at the right time and present itself. So if you're traveling, it has a travel page. When you plug in your headphones, it has a music page. When you get to work, it knows that you're at work and presents the work page. There's literally a page for everything. When you're on the go and you need to call someone, just swipe up and it will present all of your favorite contacts where you can send them text messages or give them a call. There have been a lot of changes and updates to the functionality of Aviate over the years, but it's still rock solid and probably one of the best home launches available in the Google Play Store. If you haven't tried it yet, I recommend you try it out. And finally we have our launcher which was made by Microsoft. This home launcher is very similar to ASAP launcher in that it has 6 different home pages, 5 of them being dedicated to specific functions. It's very similar to ASAP. It has a contacts page which lists all of your characters vertically as well as having a dial button at the top of the screen so you can call specific numbers, a to-do list that allows you to add specific reminders as well as set timers for them. But honestly that's where the similarities end. Our launcher is a lot more refined and offers a lot more features like a recents page which allows you to look at the most recent things you've done. There's also a documents page that integrates with Office 365, OneDrive and Google Drive and presents all your documents on the front of the phone. There's also a quick apps page that allows you to add your favorite apps to the front of the phone. On my work phone, I actually have all of my work related apps right here so that I can quickly access them. The only thing I wish that Arrow Launcher had that ASAP Launcher has is probably the events page where you can keep track of all the public holidays and events on the front of your phone. Well, let's hope that Microsoft learns <coughs> a thing from ASAP Launcher. Because if there's anything I'd love to see in this home launcher, it would be that. But with all the shortcomings of ASAP Launcher between the lack of widgets and the lack of customizability and the lack of features, you might as well just use Arrow Launcher. There's no paywall here, so everything that you see is what you get. A gorgeous transparent user interface, which happens to be how I love my user interfaces. Lots of different pages that serve specific functions instead of a wall of apps that you have to scroll through. With a basic amount of customizability so that if you're one of those people that like to set and forget then you're fine, but if you like to tweak it just a little bit to suit your needs then that's fine as well. Now there are many things that Microsoft could do to improve on the home launcher. Like for example adding the ability to create your own pages like what Home UX is capable of doing. But hopefully that's something that they acquire <coughs> still <coughs> in the future. But despite everything I've said guys, which is all in good fun. This is a very stable home launcher and if you're looking for something that you know won't crap out on you and provides you with good functionality, then I definitely recommend picking this one up from the Google Play Store. Well, there you have it guys. Now, if you want to download any of these home launchers, then you can always check out the description below. Or you can just go onto Google Play Store and just type in the name. Whichever one works for you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Share my video with your friends so that you can let them know, hey, violence is doing this thing. You guys should check him out. Yeah. And you can also subscribe to my channel. I really love to get some more subscribers and some more reviews. Sorry, I stumbled over myself. I just want to get my channel growing and I'm very enthusiastic about it. Anyway guys, 
Thanks for watching again and peace.